there's a lot of platforms that have implemented this technology, you know, assuming people would use something like YubiKey, but then got no penetration. <laughs> Where are you seeing on the enterprise level? Sure. What, where, what, if, what, you know, what type of enterprises are you using, you guys? Sure. So on that FIDO key technology, we have a number of customers. So we have a number of exchanges. That Not are, that you have to say specific names. What, what types? So you say exchanges? Uh, exchanges and traditional banks, right? Okay. Imagine you're logging into Fidelity, Imagine you're logging oh, yeah. into Chase, Bank of America, et cetera. They all already have FIDO implemented. So imagine that technology being integrated into your favorite everyday credit card, daily driver. It's another way to secure your favorite banking login. So we've basically taken these digital keys to protect your digital life and put it on your favorite banking card. You know, in our parent company, we make banking cards today. If you have a metal card in your wallet, we make it, right? We make metal cards for Chase, American Express, Bank of America, Capital One, Citibank, uh, and around the world, N26, like and Z Bank. You're the only guys. <laughs> everybody, everybody. So we make a metal card, we make it. That's great. Um, uh, and so where are you see, where are you seeing the the fastest adoption right now in, in using this? Is it is it from a retail level? Is it from an institutional level? Is it from a banking level? Sure, we see for our FIDO key adoption, the the biggest adoption is in fintechs and fast moving banks. So some of the larger, older um, retail banks are interested, okay. but it takes longer to adopt. So yep. you have these fintechs; they want to differentiate, they want to keep their customers safe and move faster. So our fintech customers are really the ones that are are entering the space and keeping their customers safe. Seems like the, the from a security level, and maybe maybe you know Coinbase says you know, to their clients, say, "Hey, that's that's on you." But it seems the friction that comes with that, both from a handling your customer and then also from a legal standpoint, I'm sure some of those customers are you know you end up with a lot of a lot of litigation. Which, if you implemented a little bit more security, you just kind of short circuit that. So it's really it, by implementing you guys. It may be a little bit of a cost up front, but in the long run, really saves down on a lot of headaches, friction, and 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 yeah, legal costs. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the challenges there's a lot of platforms that have implemented this technology. You know, assuming people would use something like YubiKey, but then got no penetration because nobody wants to carry around a little USB stick. Yeah, hey, YubiKey. Yeah. It's like it's a complete pain to use. Yeah. So what we did is we're working with a lot of those platforms that also issue payment cards. So we go, hey, take your payment card, add this tech then literally everyone has your branded security token in their pocket with them at all times. So not only do they associate your brand with this awesome payment card, they associate your brand with security every time they tap that card to the phone. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We had a great time here at Consensus. At the Texas Blockchain Council, we are striving to be the nexus between traditional industries, banking, finance, legal, energy, and the digital asset industry. So we want to help you get your brand in front of those kinds of companies with B2B opportunities. Reach out to us if that's of interest for membership or for sponsorship at the summit. Hope to see you there in November in Fort Worth. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you at the summit.